Okay, the next level of trigonometry is looking at the um, reciprocal functions of uh, your trig functions. So these are called sec, cosec and cot. Now they, their full names are secant, cosecant and cotangent um, and they get shortened to sec, cosec and cot. Now sec theta is the same as 1 over cos theta, cosec theta is 1 over sine theta and cot theta is 1 over tan theta. They're just a way of writing those functions. Now the way that I remember these is the third letter. So the third letter of sec is C, it's 1 over cos. The third letter of cosec is S, so it's 1 over sine. And the third letter of cot is 1 over tan. It just helps you to remember what's what. Now there are some special tan, uh, sorry, trig values that you need to have memorized or at least be able to find them from those special triangles. Now you did these last year. Here's a little reminder. If you can't remember them, write them down, have them somewhere handy as a reference, but for exam purposes you will need to memorise these ones. You also need to recognise them quite easily as well and get used to using them. Okay, so let's have a look at an example. We want to find cosec of 60 degrees. Now that is 1 over sine of 60 degrees. That's one of our special ones. It's 1 over root 3 over 2. Well, if you're doing 1 divided by a fraction, that's just the reciprocal of the fraction. So it's 2 over root 3. Example number 2, we're going to solve sec theta equals 4 for theta between 0 and 360 degrees. So sec is 1 over cos, so let's just rewrite that as 1 over cos theta equals 4. So cos theta is a quarter. And then we would solve that in the usual way, like you did last year. So first of all, on your calculator, make sure it's in degrees. You do the inverse of, of uh, inverse cos of a quarter, and you get theta equals 75.5 degrees. That gives us the first value in the range. And remember, you need to find the other values within that range of 0 to 360. Whether you do that by quadrants or the graph is up to you. I use graphs. So we have the graph of cos theta, we need to find out when it's equal to a quarter, we've got the first value is 75.5, so using the symmetry of the graph, the other value is 360 minus 75.5, which gives us 284.5. Right, now some uh, identities we can get from this. Now you already know sine squared plus cos squared equals 1 from last year. If we divide all of that by cos squared, then we get another interesting identity. So sine squared over cos squared is tan squared. Cos squared over cos squared, well, that's just 1. And 1 over cos squared, well, 1 over cos is sec, so we can call that sec squared. That's quite a useful little identity to know. And if we start with that identity again, but this time divide through by sine squared theta, we get something similar happens. We get 1. Cos over sine is cot squared, because that would be 1 over tan squared because you know tan is sine over cos but that's the it's the opposite way around we've got cos over sine so that'd be cot squared and 1 over sine squared is cosec squared those are really important make sure you write down and memorize them okay now let's have a look at how that might be used we're going to solve this particular equation here notice that we are in radians now so you need to switch your calculator back to radian mode so first of all, we are remembering that tan squared theta plus 1 equals sec squared theta, so we can get all of these things in the equation into the same form. So instead of uh, tan squared, we're going to write sec squared theta minus 1 using that identity. Now we've got everything in sec squared, we actually end up with a quadratic. So I'm just rearranging that to look a little more like the sorts of quadratics we're used to. And now we can go ahead and solve this. So it's going to be 3 sec theta minus 4 times sec theta plus 1, just like any quadratic. Now that gives us the following, sec theta equals 4 thirds and sec theta equals minus 1. So that means that cos theta equals 3 quarters and cos theta equals minus 1, just using the reciprocal, since sec is 1 over cos. Then we're going to solve each of those, so the first one Theta, pop it into your calculator, um, inverse cos of 3 quarters, and we get 0.72. Remember, you must be in radians. Now, to find the other one within that range, use the graph. 
use the symmetry to find the other one, and it's going to be 5.56, which is 2 pi minus 0.72. And the third one in that range will be when it equals minus 1. That happens at pi, so our last value for theta is pi.